Now we have the latest on the killing of Will Smith. His former coach for the Saints, Sean Payton, is speaking out. There's new surveillance video. It appears to show the moment that led to the shootout as officials try to determine what really happened. ABC's Ryan Smith is on the scene there in New Orleans. Good morning, Ryan. Good morning, Robin. Mourners have been paying their respects, stopping by this memorial, even shedding tears as they pay their respects to uh, Will Smith, who was gunned down just feet away. And as they grieve, new surveillance video shedding an entirely new light on this incident, an alleged hit and run happening just moments before the shooting. Overnight, ABC News obtaining new surveillance video, seemingly shedding light on the deadly road rage shooting death of former NFL star Will Smith. Watch closely on this surveillance footage provided to ABC News by a restaurant two blocks from the scene of the shooting. This Hummer, resembling the police's description of the shooter's vehicle, appears to stop suddenly, seemingly bumped by a car matching Smith's Mercedes SUV. Then, as the Hummer appears to pull over, the SUV speeding off. Seconds later, the Hummer apparently following. Hayes' lawyer claiming his client was not the aggressor in the fatal shooting just minutes later. Prior to the actions that led to Mr. Smith's death, my client was involved in a hit and run. Someone, someone hit him, the person failed to pull over. My client trailed behind this person in an effort to get their license plate number. My client also called 911. Uh, while he's on the phone with 911, that's when the three car accident occurs. Police claiming the 28-year-old Hayes shot Smith several times in the torso and back. After the two exchanged words during an altercation over Hayes bumping his Hummer into Smith's SUV at the crime scene. And Smith's wife caught in the gunfire, heard here screaming in pain. With Hayes right there being handcuffed. And with his client now behind bars on $1 million bail, Hayes' attorney laying the groundwork for his client's defense. Are you saying that your client felt threatened by the presence of something Smith had or someone in his party had? Uh, everybody out there felt threatened. By Smith? By someone other than Mr. Hayes. Hayes has been charged with second-degree murder and has not yet entered a plea, but Smith's killing adding to the conversation about guns in America. Saints coach Sean Payton advocating for more gun control, saying in an interview, quote, 200 years from now, they're going to look back and say, what was this madness all about? Robin? Yeah, Coach Payton was very outspoken. All right, Ryan, thank you.